and we have run 2008 and 2012 again, where we have asked people, can you afford things? Are you happy with your money? At least you will have available. And we see even in most of the countries, the number of people who answered, I can't uh, hardly afford anything anymore. So we are a little bit in a, in a, in a very weak situation. But this is in Italy, maybe we are one third of the, of, the, of the people. But we see that the majority is at least, and which is mostly above 50%, we, is, we can in general cope with our economic situation. We see in Germany, of course, that even those people who can afford almost everything are increasing in terms of percentage shares. So far, a little bit introduction. What about the economic situation? We see we have had a weak situation in uh, Europe, and we expect at least to improve this situation continuously as we, the speeding up has started since mid of the last year. Um, we want to speak within the next 20 minutes about these markets, home entertainment, mobile entertainment, as well as communication products and computing products. And it makes an indeed sense, of course, to speak this we at least be in one session, as this is the digital world and everything is uh, connected with each other, everything is going together. Yeah? If we compare here the development in Europe with other countries, with other regions around the world, Europe is positive in 2013, or is expected to be positive in 2013, by a development of plus 1.5 percent. Yeah, it is at least one digit positive development. North America is 3 percent, South America plus 2.7 percent. Of course, the growth, global growth in total is plus 4 percent. The much higher growth and much more speedy growth is coming from emerging markets which is on one hand Asia, especially but strong driven by um, Southeast Asia. My colleague uh, this afternoon will explain more in detail, but at least even also coming from Middle East and Africa. If we have a look, if we have a look, what is the share of Western Europe 2013 or even 2014, we still expect that the Western Europe market, the European market among this digital world products is around about 25% of the market. Yes, of course, we, these emerging markets, and if we have the light uh, yellow one, emerging Asia, um, is, is growing and is growing fast, uh, fast, but Europe in total will be even 2014 as big as emerging Asia. And we have to be aware that emerging Asia includes China, includes India, includes Malaysia, Indonesia, and other big countries, at least. So the European market is still, of course, powerful market among these digital world products. Yeah, total Europe is slightly higher share than North America with 23%. However, both regions as well as developed Asia are losing shares compared to uh, emerging countries as Asia or Latin. <laughs> Let's focus more on the European market, and we start first of all with the Western European market, and then we take out this top tier product, which is the smartphone, the tablet PC, LCD TV, and notebook PC. And uh, very clear, we have first of all these two product categories, which have a heavy growth at the moment in the Western European market, uh, 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 the market smartphones expected in, in Western Europe 2014, 130 million units, uh, and at least even also tablet PC coming up to 65 million units in Western Europe. Where we see, on the other hand, this bulk of the TV market, if we have a look to the LCD TV market, which have had with a maximum in Western Europe in uh, 2010 of 49, million units is a step by step of being increasing but now stabilizing at least on a level of 38 million, uh, uh, 38 million units but as well the notebook PC market which is at least we substituted we buy the tablet PC market is at least even also step by step going slightly down. And if we have a look in the same way and compare Western and Eastern European markets with together, at least the story in Eastern Europe is not different to the Western European markets. Even also here we have the smartphones which we are coming up. Even the speed of market growth is not as fast as in Western Europe. 
there is at least for West, uh, for, for tablets in Western Europe and Eastern Europe, yeah, we have a strong growth in Western Europe, but we have at least even also a positive development, even not again as fast as in Western Europe, the development of the tablet market. Uh, TV is slightly different, whereas we have a stabilization or slightly coming down of the market in Western Europe. The Eastern Europe market is still growing. Yeah? A development from 2012 to 2013, positive development expected by plus 3 million units, and even also 2014 expected a positive development in Eastern Europe. So in total, for, of course, even also for the TV market, we have in Europe total a stable situation. And if we have a look to the tablets in Western and Eastern Europe, we see Eastern Europe is still a growth in tablets, whereas in Western Europe, the, uh, in, in notebooks, whereas in Western Europe, the notebooks are going down. And if we have a look to the shares, these are the shares of Eastern Europe compared to Western Europe. We see LCD and notebooks, the share is on a 36% level, whereas on the smartphones and tablet PC, the share is on a lower level, which means in total, of course, there is still a lot of potential in these new digital markets as smartphones and as tablets will coming up um, in the nearer future, at least even also in Eastern European markets. And if you compare the shares of all these digital products, the top tier products are again smartphones, tablets, mobile PC, and the LCD TV, we see in Western Europe in terms of revenue, the LCD TV or the tablet PC, TV, the tablet PC market is close to the market of the LCD TV. We still have, of course, a market of 40% of these products that are done by other products, are done by digital cameras, are done by MP3 players, are done by DVD players, are done by set-top boxes, or whatever it is. Different, of course, if we have a look to the North American market, for example. In North America, meanwhile, the tablet market is a bigger market compared to the LCD TV market. If we concentrate on home and mobile entertainment, however, we see pretty clear home and home mobile entertainment. The market is at least if we go to Western European countries, this is a comparison 2012 against 2011, Western European countries have in total entertainment market rather weak. Yeah, different reasons for that. We have to be aware we had in a lot of Western European countries in 2010-2011 a um, cut off of analog programs, where then in 2010-2011 people invested money into a new TV equipment to be at home, which is now passed and 2012 market it went down. We see at least that, however, in the Eastern or in Central European market, in the Eastern European market, especially if we take the big market of Russia, um, the market is of course positive, and we have to be aware the Russian market for LCD TV is at least even also 10 million or even above 10 million units. The Russian market for LCD TV is bigger than the German market. So if we make in the first step of this overall of this, uh, um, conclusion, or if we put together the information, <laughs> we see, yes, now we see mobile internet is also in Europe a general trend. We have seen the huge growth of the smartphones as well as tablet PCs. We see smartphones and tablets are most successful products at the time. Flat TV is less often number one preferred product to be in Western Europe. Um, TV is more important in Eastern Europe, we have seen, but at least with smartphones and tablets, they are much faster growing at the moment. TV, video, audio, so if we take at least traditional consumer electronic entertainment products are weak compared to IT and telecommunication due to the fact that in IT and telecommunication we have the smartphones and the tablet products. But we have a change, a fundamental change at least we are in the digital world, this is the usage of the internet. Internet in total has rapidly changed at least we all our life. This is the share of the internet penetration all around Europe. In Germany we have 80%, in France we have 70%. Uh, if you take the Nordic countries, Sweden and Norway, even above 90%. Yeah, internet in total is completely changing our, our world. 
And internet is not a PC feature. Internet is not only, of course, a tablet or smartphone feature. Yeah? If we take a look to where we find internet as a feature, it is all around of us. It is everywhere, it is always, it is in all products. The big difference to these products, yeah, if you take the first two, PC, including the, the tablets and the notebooks, but even also the smartphone market, we, there people mostly buy, at least we, I buy this product because I want to be connected to the internet, to Facebook, to my emails, to uh, the cloud, to whatever it is. Whereas the TV, first of all, is bought, I want to have an, an, a device for to, be, to have entertainment be at least in, in the evening. Even, of course, that TV is mostly, meanwhile, at least even also with the possibility to be connected to the internet. But it's not only the TV, it's that following up the, the game console, the radio, the MP3 player, the set-top box, the DVD player, all these products are at least to be connected to the internet. Internet is all around of, uh, around of us. And internet is at least expected in the future, at least even also what we saw this morning with a um, power briefing of Bosch. Yeah, in the near future, at least even also a theme for major domestic appliances, a theme at least even also for washing machines or for the fridge. Yeah. Life has its own hidden forces, which you can only discover at least by living. Yeah. And if we have a look to these hidden forces, yeah, which, which are coming up at least by the mobile internet, I mean, we have to be aware, yeah? even also due to the fact that there is an ETB. Yeah? Even we see it is a, a, a stable market in Europe we at the moment, and has not this fast growth we have had with it at least a couple of years ago. Yeah? But there is still a smart TV market which is going up by plus 52% in 2013. Yeah, there's a 3D market which is going up by plus 61%. There is a um, big screen market, more than 50 inch, yeah, which is going up at least even also by 39%. And we are ahead of OLED, 4K, 2K, which will come at least the next. Yeah. Pretty clear, there's even also in this LCD TV market yeah, a, a huge potential, a huge growth potential in the near future and in the long run, at least, even also. Yeah? OLED as well as 4K is at least the answer, and we have heard in the fantastic presentation this morning of Samsung of Michael Zeller, yeah, it is indeed to be the answer of um, a lot of requests by manufacturers. Yeah, we have this OLED with excellent colors, perfect black level, so at least the fantastic pictures, yeah, which is, will start now and which will has the chance that at least we to bring up the sales level of TV again on a on a higher scale compared to what happened at least over the last years, as well as the 4K of course even also yeah, that we see in the flat TV, we are not at the end of development, not at the end of evolution, but we are in the middle or even maybe in the beginning and that there is still a big, big potential even also in these markets. Yeah? And it is indeed the answer of what consumers are at least be requesting. We have done a consumer survey in April 2012, where we have we asked the consumers at least, this survey has been done in Germany, what is important, beside the price of course always, when you are buying a TV set. Yeah? And people ask you, first of all, for bigger screen sizes. April 2012, energy efficiency level has been introduced in the beginning of the year 2012. It was at least even also a theme in Germany. There was a decision to cut off the nuclear plants. We saw at least energy efficiency at that time was, of course, even also high interest. Consumer asked improved picture quality. Consumer asked digital reception. They asked for a better design. They asked for a better design at least. They do not step into the shop and ask me, can I get an internet TV? Yeah, they do not ask this. This is something, at least, we, uh, the retailer has to bring up and to communicate with the consumer. Dear uh, you consumer, there is a possibility where we can get much more entertainment, where at least we to uh, get your 
personalized entertainment, there is a need to, be to connect this to the internet. And at least even also there is only a few people who really go into the shop and ask, can I get a 3D TV set? Yeah, they ask for bigger screen sizes, they ask for improved picture quality, they ask for sound, they ask for design. And then later on, at least during the discussion with the readers, they should ask at least even also for the possibility to connect the TV to the internet. How can we learn from this mobile internet TV devices? Yeah? In former times, at least the people with the, took with their mobile phone and in internet on the mobile phone is a 10 year old theme. Yeah? How many of you have had in former times a WAP handy? A WAP handy was a sometimes very popular, but people told me always, but I use this only to make a phone call. Yeah? Today, people clearly say it is not only a communication device here. I use at least my smartphone not only to make a phone call. Yeah? There are much, much more interests, there are much, much more things which can be done at least with a smartphone, as the smartphone is at least we connected to the internet. Yeah? Every one of you, I assume, has the weather report on his smartphone. Yeah? To check now when, what is the weather in my hometown when I'm going to get back on Sunday. Yeah? Uh, there is the entertainment, of course. Yeah? Uh, there are thousands of music titles on every smartphone. Yeah, there is a, at least the body and soul. They use people use this for making sports. What was the kilometers I have run today, and was I faster compared to last uh, uh, last week? We, well, everything is done at least with a smartphone. <laughs> Isn't there the same possibility at least even also for TV? Can't TV be more than at least the only the entertainment? Entertainment is a huge part of our leisure time, of course. Yeah, most of you coming back in the evening at home, switching on the TV set and looking for some entertainment. But the TV can be more, at least. The TV can be, at least, even also a product for assisted living, for example. Why not getting in contact with a doctor or with a uh, medical care center if I do not feel good? Or if, my, if, if, if uh, the, the, the baby um, uh, of a young woman isn't, isn't, it seems not to be healthy that you can get at least some advice from a medical care center, even also via a TV. So I think there was a much, much more additional possibilities which can be provided by the smart TV. And this will be at least even also the future that con consumer have to be aware having a connected TV in the future I can do much more as I do at the moment much more with my smartphone. Yeah, compared to the past. And I was laughing, or we, we, we discussed before, we're going here around from one building to another building in this nice area. I see always the people be going like this through this area. So it must be more than communication. Not everyone is only getting a phone call, but is checking email, maybe is searching the reception on this phone, and I don't know what they are doing. Yeah. However, of course, we have to be aware uh, this internet on TV as fast as mobile internet, this is a request consumer has to be at least even always, that they say, uh, I'm, I'm very fast here with my TV, we at least we, uh, with, my, with my mobile internet device, I want to be as fast even also with my TV. I found this by preparing this presentation. Groucho Marx said once, I find television very educating. Now, every time somebody turns on the set, I go to another room and read a book. <laughs> Even this guy is interesting for the digital world market, we, of course, as we have the development of the e-readers before him. And uh, 2013 expected in Europe, 11 million e-readers will be sold. Uh, and uh, Europe is a fantastic market for e-readers. It's around about 40% or even more than 40% of the worldwide e-reader market, which is 27 million, million speak. So we find, of course, at least even also hidden opportunities all around the world yeah? and all around these products. Yeah? If we have again this development of smartphones, this is the Europe in total, yeah? uh, it is at least in addition, of course, the possibility and opportunity for sound. Yeah? We have a, a, a headset market. Yeah? Headsets we are at least the only these which are directly used for the smartphone. Yeah, of 48 million units, but we have a headphone market in addition, yeah, 
a growth of plus 7% percentage at the moment. Yeah? And we have a, at least even also a docking speaker market that says it's 5 million at the moment, the growth is at the moment plus 78%. Percent. Yeah? So <coughs> we see the, the upcoming market of mobile internet and devices that is at least in the next step at least the possibility even also for other products which are coming about. Yeah? And if we see at least even also what happens with the audio market or with the sound market, it looks a little bit complicated. Let's lead you to, to, the, to this market. Yeah? This uh, stereo devices market, micro mini systems, they move to a market, of course, with duck and docking functionality. Yeah? And so, meanwhile, at least the development of plus 16% for those products, at least who have the, the possibility to dock the smartphone or the tablet PC or the MP3 player, a mobile device, at least due to this micro or mini system. And we have a development, we at least even also in the home theater market, but home theater market is moving off course to a Blu-ray market as bigger the screen sizes we are coming up and as more and more we have the request for better picture quality even also beyond DVDs of course. And we have a fantastic development on sound bars. There are sound bars on one hand home theater systems, sound bar with a Blu-ray player being included by a development of plus 29%. And the pure sound parts, but even the market has doubled within one year. Yeah, so even also on this hi-fi market video or on this sound market, the market is positive. It is positive, of course, at least even also if you take the tuner amplifier receiver market, um, which is a strong coming up and a strong growth, highly driven at least by streaming products. Yeah, the streaming market itself is growing by plus 44%. In Europe. So fantastic market, fantastic possibilities at least even also in the sound market and we have to be aware consumer electronics or entertainment product is not only focusing on TV, even there is a big potential even also still ongoing in this TV market, but entertainment market is at least more than only TV. So at least even also here the conclusion. TV shows still an ongoing growth potential in big screens, high resolution and design. Yeah, we are not at the end of the development of TV at the moment. Yeah, there is a need to improve smart TV. Visibility, communication, of course, even also people have to step into the shop and have to ask at least, can I get a connected to the TV? Uh, there is an improvement at least even also for 3D. Consumer asks 3D for having 3D without glasses. That's for sure. Yeah. We have to be aware listening music is coming back. People have thousands of titles, music titles on their smartphones. They want to listen to the smartphone with a proper headphone or they want to listen to this music at least at home, in the living room, in the bedroom and everywhere in the apartment. So far, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Always enlightening. Appreciate that. And we're just now on...